Scoby Duck. They used to rent out uh, canoes and uh, stuff along here too. I don't know if they do that anymore or not. Hello everybody and welcome back. This is a day with Nomadic E-Biking Adventures. Where are we today? We are in Bernie, Texas. I just want to check and see if there's any stipulations for e-bikes, and there isn't. So this is the uh, this is the uh, old rail trail in Bernie. We're going to do about uh, 20 miles around the, uh, the city of Bernie. Morning. Another e-biker, that's a good sign. I thought we're going to get hecklers in the morning, like we did yesterday. So yeah, it's been a while since uh, we've been here. nice morning today uh, it's in the low 80s got about an 11 mile an hour wind from the south and I believe it's supposed to get up to about 90 degrees today so we're gonna go all over uh, Bernie here we're gonna Hit some uh, old neighborhoods and streets and mapped out a, uh, a route. And uh, last I looked, it should be right around 20 miles, probably more because I added some uh, legs off of it. We're starting out at 28.28 on the odometer and we'll see what uh, Thank you. Got a lot of uh, cross traffic. Like that guy flying over there. See this one, uh, Dave. They put up a crossing uh, signal here. Morning. Bernie, which is outside of San Antonio, northwest of it on I-10, this area has exploded as far as um, population since I lived here 10 plus years ago. Oh, look at a deer. And they're 
deer are plentiful around here. We're going to go through some neighborhoods that have herds of deer. Oh, this is a new bridge over here. I wonder where this one's going. This one is supposed to be going to a uh, just a subdivision. have some rain here the other day but it's not calling for any rain so I think this is just uh, humidity sweat and this is basically the end of the trail so we're gonna be uh, taking the trail to the right here morning they got a sidewalk along here because this is a pretty busy road and they do so that's good this has turned in one of the uh, major roads going to the new subdivisions on the roadway here to get away from this jogger. Kind of widens out right here anyway. school still be starting up here pretty shortly there. It's the uh, sheriff's office in jail. I'll just take a ride into this subdivision around the
out on the uh, main road here and I believe just down on the right side should be a path, a trail. And let me see if I can uh, find out where it is exactly. I've never uh, been on this trail and I've actually never uh, rode a bike here in Bernie. I'm thinking this is probably, this is it here. Fresh grass, cutting the grass today in the park. Curry Trail. This comes out on uh, Blanco Road, I believe it is. They, uh, like other places they turn their creeks and waterways into uh, bike trails going to go overly uh, fast on this thing because I got uh, I do have my tire coming in today I do have a spare inner tube with me it's a nice little trail Before I get going here, I want to uh, just adjust this angle on this camera here. I just feel that it's out a little bit too far. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> All right. So we're already going three and a half miles in 15 minutes. the end of this trail and then we'll hop on to a uh, roadway in one of the older neighborhoods. Just 
down the road from the high school. That's uh, Bernie High School ahead of us. We're not going in there today. We're going to take a run into this subdivision. This one has a, usually has a lot of deer in it. For some reason, uh, the temperature down here is very nice. Uh, yesterday, I was finishing up in Dallas, and uh, they were expecting near 100 all week long. But down here, you would think it would be a little warmer. And they're only going to be near 90 for the week. Take that.
football practice going on already. Bernie Post Office on the left. City Hall we used to come here and pay the water bill all the time but they moved and uh, built a, a bigger location of these 
buildings are built with the limestone, which is very prevalent around here. Now, one thing I've noticed is the police department changed the color of the vehicles. It used to be all white. Well, this is the fire department. This is the new uh, city hall that they built probably about uh, 10 years ago now. Pretty big. Bernie is growing by leaps and bounds. My old car wash I used to go to all the time. Manual car wash. Don't look like it's being used very much because there's I think probably about uh, three full service uh, car washes in town now. People just get lazy. Myself included. Looks like the, the guys might be responding to another call. That's the fire station, obviously. This used to be a good uh, rib place, barbecue, Long Branch Saloon. turn here as soon as traffic lets us. Bum duelers. This used to be a good uh, I don't think they're in business anymore. It used to be a motorcycle deal. It looked like it was pretty empty inside. side of town and you didn't get much business but uh, I guess they must get enough now everybody's going here firehouse number one we got another is there a firehouse number two not quite sure two bars left should give us another 18 miles we'll see how long that takes Ingram Midi, uh, Ready Mix has been here for a lot of years they got a 
plant this down the road. stand is still here and we'll be going down on a trail down there but uh, for now this is a restaurant something the creek Bakery and Cafe. I wonder why it's not open. They were open all the time. That was busy. Alright, so we gotta wait for traffic. But they used to have a, a Christmas parade down here. They used to close it off for Bernie days. Close the whole street down and they had a festival. head down this way and we'll go to um, get on the path there's a trail behind uh, this building down here and uh, there's a hotel right around here Kendall Inn. 
I think this should be the entrance of the trail right here. The Cibolo Trail along the Cibolo Creek. Morning. Morning. This uh, this creek always would flood. So it wouldn't be uncommon to see more water here than it is uh, earlier. Morning. Thank you. I hit that rock. Never been down here. Used to always go up to my Bank of America bank up right there. I'd see this down here, but Never went on it. This goes uh, over to uh, the duck pond. Oh, we're at 10 miles exactly. Oh, this is neat. I never knew this was back here. Bernie Trail Pit Stop. Cold beer. Hmm. Never knew that was there either. Access points to get on and off. And this has a little water crossing. And we're going to get pretty close to all the ducks. Look at all the ducks. The little chicks. Or little ducklings. Isn't that cute? She's got a lot of, a lot of ducklings. using herself as a barrier. All the ducks in the pond. The ducks around here are a big deal. I mean, you're not supposed to feed them, but people feed them anyway. Morning. Lots of ducks. Morning. all over the sidewalk it looks like too. I used to bring my dog down here when I lived here Black Lab and he would chase the ducks into the water and try to jump in after them. I've seen this flooded all the way up to the uh, houses up there. It does get a lot of water sometimes. Last year it was pretty dry. It went uh, wasn't much water in here at all. Hi. Scoby duck. I used to rent out uh, canoes and uh, stuff along here too. I don't know if they do that anymore or not. 
but this park is uh, very popular for people to bring their kids and they got the uh, duck crossing signs up Says, do not feed any of the wildlife. Morning, Morning guys. Ooh, that was a pretty heavy bicycle patrol by the Bernie Police Department. Morning. ducks are here. All the ducks are in a row. Morning. I'm going to jump out on the street here since I see a lot of pedestrians. It ends up here pretty much pretty quickly. There's a uh, Bernie Dam right here. It kind of backs up the water to prevent, to uh, make that uh, pond. And supposedly this uh, Cibolo Trail continues along here towards uh, the fairgrounds. Shouldn't be too bad along here, but I think our bike lane kind of disappears if I remember right. We'll see. There's a little trail at the next intersection that uh, the trail goes back on again. Forty-seven minutes and eleven miles. I think it's about time for the GoPro battery to uh, start petering out. So we'll see. takes off this way, yeah. I've never been on this section of the uh, trail either. And in fact, I think I'm going to take... Let's see a biker coming. I'm going to take this time to uh, switch out my GoPro batteries. Because we're... Uh, pretty close to switching that out so we'll be right back all right we got both uh, GoPro batteries replaced we got two bars left on three bars left on the uh, e-bike and uh, we'll go across this one here now there's a bunch of trails in here I'm don't know exactly which one's which. And this is getting into the fairgrounds. So you see a lot of antique farm equipment here. I 
think the, uh, if I remember right, the, the county fair was in August sometime, if I remember right. Got a pool area. And it's showing the path going that way, but don't know for sure. But all this is antique farm equipment. There's the pool. See if we can pick up this trail here somewhere. See if I can pick up a trailer somewhere. Yeah, I can pick it up, I guess, somewhere. Going that way. Thank you. I think this eventually will. to uh, the trail that I had mapped out. Actually there's a bunch of bunch of little trails in here. right there where those people are it must come out of the uh where's a footpath there so yeah i've never been back here there's a lot of different little trails and this is eventually where i'm gonna leave but I want to go down just to see where that path did come out. Oh, this is actually a road. but it's just a footpath. keeps on going back this way. This is the nature sale. Oh, okay. Well, we can go around it.
tree. See, that's a, I think that's the path that goes that way. is going. Hmm. Well, let's take it back. I think this is a uh, admission based. I see it here, kind of just goes to. Yeah. This just keeps on going to a nature trail. So, we're going to just turn around. Since this is, I mean, we can go, we're coming back anyway. But. a gravel road like this I would have stayed on it but I guess it's a uh, an automatic gate opener. I don't know why it's open and closed, but it was a keyed uh, keyed entry pad. trails in there you can keep on riding. Well, let's let's take this one here. Morning. Because I think this is still part of the trail. Trail system. The other high school is back here, unless they're adding on to it. Cibolo Preserve. Well, this is a long, long deal here. See, the band is playing. The band is practicing. Never been back here. Wow, this is pretty cool. No, 
I think this comes out to a subdivision. If I remember right, that's where we were going. keeps on going so far see right there where they're turning that's where it, where it turns off but we're gonna go down a little bit longer to uh, see how far this thing goes because I had mapped it out to go a little bit further yeah, that goes into that other subdivision but I think there might be another entrance up here and then we were gonna jump on to the uh, subdivision road oh this is kind of nice this whole area has this uh, little bike trail to go on into the subdivision there but it says pavement ends so this is as far as it goes upper Cibolo Creek so we'll go back see it used to be a train a, a rail that came from San Antonio and it came into Bernie up to Sisterdale and Fredericksburg so that's what it was but no more I've still got two bars left on my battery so 14 miles so I should probably switch it out at 18 or so the way everything's been uh, working out lately. And then we're going to ride some subdivisions here. They got back there. Got 12 foot high fences. Now, this is the entrance into the subdivision that we were going to take. See, I got one bar. Yeah, let's, let's take her as far as we can get her, I guess. It's a drop off. I'm surprised they don't have a.
the end of the line here. Ended up uh, almost 30. One tenth of a one tenth of a mile long. I get it yet. Usually my other app gives me the uh, a little bit more miles. But here we are. It's the end of the old number nine trail. Appreciate you coming along, and uh, we'll see you in Austin tomorrow. Until then, adios.